And this, the second reason why we think this fight is going to perform uh, very well is that we see enormous potential to promote Korea to New Zealanders as a holiday destination. It's Seoul is such an amazing city with such uh, rich culture, rich history, um, and a very, very modern outlook. Uh, we had a number of the chief executives from our biggest travel partners in New Zealand with us the last two days, and they hadn't been here before. Uh, but they're really, really excited with what they've seen, and they think they can grow New Zealand visitors to Korea very, very fast. And then the third reason why we think this will go, go really well is the opportunity presented by air freight and trade links between Korea and New Zealand. Incheon Airport is one of the top five air freight ports in the world, and we can see potential to use that to grow trade uh, between New Zealand and Korea. And actually, just on Saturday night, which was our first flight back to New Zealand, so thank you very much for being here today, and we really look forward to welcoming you to New Zealand very, very soon. So Lisa, as you say, we have gone here before. Um, unfortunately, the Asian financial crisis meant that the number of visitors from Korea fell from over 100,000 down to under 20,000. So we had to uh, step back at that point. Um, but now we're seeing the number of visitors grow and grow and grow, and actually we're also seeing people take other ways to get to New Zealand, uh, say for example through Japan or China or Australia. So we already see more people going to New Zealand than there are enough direct flights to carry. So we think by operating a new flight we can grow the total total number of people and uh, yeah, we think that's going to go very well. And Teresa, do you like that? Uh, just to add, um, the other thing that's changed is that there are now, and it's grown very rapidly over that time, there are now, we think, about 40,000 um, Koreans living in New Zealand um, of Korean descent. And so there's, there's this growing demand for um, Koreans at home and in New Zealand to um, both ways. And so we see that as really important. And uh, Jeff mentioned the visitor numbers uh, are up close to 90,000 a year at the moment. Um, and we think that that will continue to increase over the next five to ten years as well. So um, those numbers are pretty compelling. Oh, just from a tourism New Zealand point of view as well, uh, we are increasing our investment in our marketing, particularly around the uh, FIT sector, and look forward to uh, releasing those, those seats that Air New Zealand have put on filling mm -hmm. up and um, welcoming walk. Uh, the increase in the number of Asian students generally coming to New Zealand and studying at New Zealand universities is again significantly increasing every year. And most universities in New Zealand have partner relationships with uh, universities in the large countries in Asia. And so you're right, we are seeing a significant number come through for study. It's a very attractive proposition to study in New Zealand. Yeah, so, so we have a, a, a very extensive network around New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand's kind of a smallish country, so you can get from one end to the other in an hour and a half or so. And so we've got 20 places around New Zealand, so that's super convenient. Um, but we, we also have a strong network into Australia, so we fly to more cities in Australia from New Zealand than any other airline, not just the main cities of uh, Brisbane, Rock and Sydney. But a bunch of other smaller places like Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast, North Queensland, Adelaide, Perth. So very extensive network of people who want to come to come to Korea, come to New Zealand, and then also go to Australia. We also have a, a lot of destinations in the Pacific, which you know, like three hours away: you know, Fiji, Rarotonga, Samoa, Tonga, um, Niue, Vanuatu. Number of destinations. Yeah, I, I guess the first thing I'd say is that we we're here because we think we can grow the market. So we think the total market between New Zealand and Korea can grow so that there's enough room for both airlines to be successful. But New Zealand is a bit different. You know, the, we talked a little bit about the New Zealand culture. You experienced that here today. Um, and that's what you feel when you get on board uh, one of our aircraft. It's quite a distinctive uh, service. And it also means you can start to experience New Zealand um, as right here at Incheon Airport as soon as you get on the plane. And then the connections we talked about a moment ago around New Zealand, around the Pacific, around the Australia, uh, we think means we can offer people a, a range of choices that they may not otherwise have. There's a very strong trade relationship and history between New Zealand and South Korea, um, and we think that's going to get a lot stronger over time, and having extra air freight capacity is going to unlock some of that uh, more quickly. 
So there are a lot of things that are made in South Korea that New Zealand needs, and there's a lot of things that New Zealand produces that South Korea very much enjoy. Um, so from our perspective, from New Zealand, uh, we really focused uh, on bringing fresh produce into South Korea. So milk powder, milk, beef, lamb, squash, stone fruit, kiwi fruit, those types of products uh, we bring into South Korea all the time, and, uh, and the demand is growing. On the other side, from South Korea, there are so many things that you bring into our country um, that we need and are vitally important. You bring in computers, electrical machinery, medical apparatus, uh, car parts, tin, steel, plastic. So there's so many things that come in uh, to New Zealand that we require. I think there's an opportunity for us to go into other areas as well. And so from a New Zealand perspective, um, and you'll have ideas from a, a South Korean perspective, but from a New Zealand perspective, we would be looking at more uh, fresh products, fresh fish, fresh lobster, um, organic products with health benefits. Uh, there's growing demand both in Asia and globally, so think of things with health properties like Manuka honey. The airport is one of the top in the world for uh, air freight and cargo in terms of being a hub. And so for New Zealand, that's really important. Um, and also great for you to be able to distribute the other way. So we're really excited about that part.